I'd like to read a story to you today. It's Brian the Smelly Bear and the Very Smelly Babies. Brian the Smelly Bear and the Very Smelly Babies. Brian and Briny were two happy bears, living life to the full, without any cares. They skipped through the woods and slept under the trees, and they danced around with the birds and the bees. One sunny morning, Brian opened his eyes. He'd been woken up by the sound of soft cries. There before him were three baby bears. He said to Briny, don't bears come in pairs? Now Brian and Briny had three bundles of joy. What a lovely family. Two girls and a boy. They fed them and washed them and put them to bed with a story each night and a kiss on the head. Then neighbors popped over and, as a surprise, placed gifts and three cakes in front of their eyes. Frog gave them a rattle made of wood and some seeds, and Rabbit gave a blanket he'd knitted from weeds. The sweet little cubs were passed round one by one, looking so cute and having such fun. Then, all of a sudden, came an almighty sound. The sound was so bad that it rattled the ground. Frog gasped for air and Robert Rabbit hopped off. Badger felt sick at the horrible buff. Tortoise gulped twice and went back in his shell. How could something so small make that terrible smell? Brian held his nose tight and Briny went pink. How could such lovely babies make such a big stink? We must wash them at once, Brian said with a frown. These bears are surely the smelliest around. So out Brian went and found a big metal tub and a big fluffy brush to give the babies a scrub. After what seemed like hours, those bear cubs were clean and gave off a smell that would not turn you green. Brian and Briny both sniffed at the breeze. It no longer pawned of rotten old cheese. The babies, however, went off in a grump until one of them let forth an almighty trump. Brian thought that the cleanup was finally done, but the three slipped away to have a, some more fun. They found a big swamp, all green, brown, and boggy. In jumped the bears, getting smelly and soggy. Brian and Briny both bought a towel. Get out of that muck, they said with a growl. The little cubs giggled and fell about on the floor. 
This time the smell was much worse than before. By now their friends' noses had caught that strong whiff. They all cried together, What a terrible niff! Badger said sternly, Enough is enough. It's time to clean up that stink balls of fluff. So Brian and Briny tried something new. A super strong, no pong, foam-tastic shampoo. The babies all splashed and made lots of bubbles and laughed with delight. Would this fix their troubles? Brian and Briny had three little bears, a beautiful family without any cares, because those little cubs, after all that was said, thought bath time with bubbles was more fun instead. <laughs>